Like, who else would that happen to? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be trying this product that I heard about in a tarantula group. So I happened to stumble upon it in a local pet shop. So it is called a Habiscape and this is the small burrow. It says it provides a secure burrow for reptiles and vertebrates and amphibians. I thought this could be appropriate for some tarantulas. So basically the idea is to put this up against the side of the enclosure so you can see them in their burrow. So I don't think this would be appropriate for all species of tarantulas. This would be good for a drier species because this really wouldn't be retaining moisture. My sea marshali actually had to have her hide removed because there was a whole bunch of mold that developed on it. It was one of those wooden round ones and I experimented by putting it a certain way and she never used it. She ended up building her home over here. She's just kind of out all the time. So I figured it might be beneficial to try this because she hasn't dug at all and this is a really cool hide. Plus she is a African baboon species. She's not really one to need a lot of moisture. I think that this with a water dish would be perfectly fine for her. She is a, an old world species, so she is a little bit more venomous than my other tarantulas, but we're gonna take some precautions to try to make this go as smoothly as possible. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and let's just get into this. do not have urticating hairs so their only defense really is to just strike okay what I'm gonna do like I said I'm just going to remove this old webbing and use the substrate she has since they don't have urticating hairs I don't really have to worry about getting any on me <laughs> yeah it's like literally going to be a perfect fit so so far my impression is, so this is really light. Um, I'm sure you could make this for a lot cheaper. This was $20, so you know, that is really expensive. But I thought, hey, you know, we can try it for my channel. Maybe some of my subscribers would rather buy it than make it. I know that I'm one of those kind of people, unfortunately, that will pay for convenience sometimes. I'm gonna like put a little bit of dirt on the bottom, I think. Okay. Okay, so I am gonna say that this is not a perfect fit. Oh wow, I just cracked it. All right, so I think we're gonna have to get a bigger critter keeper. I'll let him outside. there would be a brown recluse in that. Like, who else would that happen to? I'm just wondering. Honey, I'm home. All right, so now we have the giant enclosure. So let's try this again. It fits. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Okay, I've gotta say this is not going how I anticipated, but this is why I'm making the video. What do you think? I feel like that's such a waste of substrate then. But it does look really cool, like I have to admit that. So I, like I said, I'm gonna put a little bit. So yeah, I put a little bit of dirt in it. And this is what this side looks like, which I think looks really cool. I'll put a little bit more. <coughs> oh! Oh. Eh? What do you guys think? 
Like part of me feels like I've just wasted a bunch of money on this. Part of me is like, hey, this looks pretty cool. So what is your thoughts? I guess let's release her. And I would kind of like to release her to go into the hole if that's possible. Oh, there she goes, right into it. So yeah, she went like right into it. And that's pretty freaking cool looking. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like that. I'll put a little bit more stuff in it. Wow, what an adventure. <laughs> yeah, I cracked my other critter keeper, which I think it'll be fine. It's only a little crack right here. It's not a big deal. Like I'm definitely gonna use this for probably something a little bit more docile to be safe, but yeah, it's... So my thoughts, <laughs> waste of money. That, that's all I'm gonna say, it's a waste of money. It was $20 for it. I mean, it's cool, but it's not $20 cool. Part of the fun in the hobby is kind of the inexpensiveness that surrounds housing tarantulas so and like the creative things that you can do with them so wasting like 20 bucks on something like that and eh, i wouldn't say it's a total waste if that's your bag cool wear it but it's not mine i don't really i don't really think that it was worth the 20 dollars. but with that said i will consider this it was 20 dollars spent to possibly save you 20 dollars. like this video but it does look pretty cool and i'm glad that i put a horned baboon in there how freaking cool is that? Okay, it's kind of cool. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video. No, seriously. Subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. And I will have more for you guys soon. Thank you so much. Oh, and go watch my snake video. I know you guys are here for tarantulas, but like, I made it for you. Watch it. <laughs>